tell y'all something. We are sitting out here in San Francisco in Union Square. And I just want to say that they pigeons is straight out of Compton, okay? Because, like, they are brave AF. Like, why, why, sir, what are you doing? Like, why are you so close to me? I mean, yeah, they will come over here and just like, strong arm your whole, like, if you have any bread or any of that, they just, like, give me your bread. Like, these, this is like, you don't eat your corn. Right, like these these are the birds from out of Hawaii too. Like, why are y'all birds so damn brave? Like, are y'all out here feeding these damn birds? And they kind of big too. So, what you take, big girl? Me and the statue. Oh yeah, but like yeah, we got these all brave ass birds. I'm trying to give y'all a view of Union Square. We got the little statue right there behind me and stuff like that. But yeah, y'all got some brave ass birds. I don't know if y'all um I don't know if y'all birds is from Compton or Fresno or what. Like y'all got some brave ass birds out here, and they just sitting there like y'all birds is knocking and bucking and ready to fight. Okay, I ain't got time for this. Okay. Yeah, no, look, this this came see, over. he was like, oh, okay, so you I don't see no bread over here. Never mind. I will, right, like we'll let you know the right now. Y'all see like don't nobody want to feed y'all. Go away. And they just sitting there walking around and carrying on. But anyway, y'all see that little statue right there? This is like a monumental statue. And then they got the little monument right there. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there is a no, y'all can't see it. Okay, there we go. It's a little monument right there. Okay, my finger looks weird. Okay, anyway, whatever. But the point is, y'all see it. And then, see, and then it go, see, now they photo bombing. Look at them. <laughs> like, for real. But, yeah, I'm just getting some nun mode views, some nun mode slash the Khadija experience views and stuff like that. Because Topaz is judging me because I have this uh, channel. And I use this term loosely. I have a channel and um I don't be doing nothing on it and she be she be judging me and whatnot. But yeah. but you know what? But the thing about it is let me tell y'all the thing about it is it, it it's gonna be okay. She gonna be okay. I judge you, okay? Because I just don't understand like why would you create it and you titled it too. It's not like you just had the YouTube channel and what the Oh, now that that See that's is, what happened when you talk shit. No, 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 look. <laughs> I don't care. This got to be said. All right. So you had just the channel attached to your email. You renamed. I gotta take my glasses off so I can side out her properly, y'all. Hold on one second. But okay, you now go gave ahead. it a name that is like an experience, and I'm supposed to go on said channel and get an experience. Child, I am and I feel like I don't. Too. And I feel like if you were charging, I would want my money back. But I'm not charging. I'm not charging, so that's right, not he so I, that's neither here nor there. No, no, but I want my time. But uh, I want my time and consent. If you're not on the channel, I'm what time are we talking about? I'm, I'm reclaiming my time I'm too. I'm reclaiming it. Okay, I'm gonna tell one Give of these. I'm gonna tell one of these pigeons on you. Keep messing with me. I don't care. Okay, listen. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then you gonna have a video of me stopping? And listen, we in liberal California, so I'm sure it's like. Peter somewhere waiting. Peter is somewhere waiting yeah, on you. I'm, like, I'm sure like, Peter, I can't believe you. Peter is about to come and throw red. <laughs> Peter is about to come and throw red paint on Topaz. Right. Like <laughs> we gonna have to hightail it back to the airport and fly on out of here because yeah, Topaz, because really Topaz, Topaz stumped out a pigeon. Yeah, they they like listen. This is a pigeon. This is a human being. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So you know what? I think we gonna make a video before I get ready to go. We gonna make a video of like the bylaws and shit on YouTube, and, not on YouTube, but of like nun mode and carrying on, okay? Because let me tell y'all what y'all gonna do. Y'all gonna stop coming for nun mode, okay? Because we are the new wave. We out here, we acting right, we acting appropriate. We we teaching the younger girls how to act in the right way to do things. So y'all gonna stop coming for nun mode. And eventually y'all gonna be singing nun mode's praises and stuff like that. But we gonna be like, you know what? Back then you didn't want me. Now I'm hot, you all on me. And we ain't gonna wanna hear that. So y'all better get with the program topaz is practicing so it's like y'all better y'all better get with it or get left okay because we gonna be taking off and we plan another vacation and your girl is about to graduate in about a month or two so yeah we need to go ahead and get this party what you got to say um i just want to say hit the cash app k134 to support the next black doctor that matters black coroners matter and i completely yeah. agree with that because you know what somebody got to pay this tuition and it ain't gonna be me well, it might be me. I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like, look, my, my, if I get into medical school, they might have to charge that to the game, okay? Like, I, I could never repay you, but my plan is to show you that I understand. <laughs> I don't even understand that. My thing is, why would you even, you know, charge me this amount? It's college just like the rest of them. What's so different? But, yeah, oh, let me get let y'all get a view of our hotel. 
I think I'm gonna put this on IG. So this is our hotel right here. We are staying at the hotel, the Weston St. Francis in Union Square. We are in the fashion district. We got a Macy's across the street. And I am it's gonna- like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine floors of so, shopping can you nine floors worth of exploration you guys can <laughs> I have, you i have to go uh, I, have, I have to go see and then also we got a Saks fifth avenue right there behind us there is a william sonoma somewhere over there but yeah. i think they said i think they said like um what you call it furniture it's either furniture or they sell like like plates and shit like that yeah. So, but we ain't about to take none of that. Cause let me tell y'all something about y'all damn airlines. Okay. Y'all be sitting there throwing people shit around. Like we don't need it no damn more. Okay. Stop doing that. I'm about to start putting fragile tags on all my stuff. Okay. Cause like I said, they be sitting there throwing our shit around. Like they don't need, they broke my fucking mirror. And let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all. Okay. So we went to Hawaii one time, right? And I don't know if it's Southwest or American. Okay. But one of them need to square up, square up with me. Okay. Because they broke my damn bronzer and I ain't going to give them too much because it was like the little $1 bronzer that you get out of Walmart. You know, the little wet and wild bronzer. But that, yeah, exactly. That's not the point. It's the principle behind it. Like, why is y'all throwing my shit around? And it's like, I got y'all got a deadline and a schedule to meet and everything like that. But my bronzer though like i gotta add how am i supposed to add warmth to my face without my bronzer is what i need to know no see because they selfish don't think about nobody. yeah topaz they selfish and they don't think about nobody but they sell quick side note it has now been 24 hours since my girl has smoked i'm the one that is assisting her with that so you know dr hunter was right <laughs> oh, and what's like through the trees and off in the cut and stuff like that? Ooh, but we got an express but right there. About Victoria's Secret right next door, though. Y'all, can we can we talk about the Victoria's Secret right across the street too? Okay, no, it's not even across the street. It's like you come out the hotel, go to well, the it's next across the street door. right now because we across the oh, street. Yeah. But if we come out of our hotel and walk, like not even, not even. It's the next door. It's literally next door. Not even two hundred feet. The like next we, opening in this wall. Like, on this side of the hotel is Victoria's Victoria. Secret. Like, I just want to let y'all know. Like, y'all, you know I, mean? I got. Morning, I'm just gonna see what they got. We got I'm ideas, go and y'all could never. Like, that's uh, that's all we wanted I'm to let y'all know. I'm just see what they have. But yeah, yeah, we we are having a good time. Um, I don't know. Do you want to start planning for my graduation trip while we're here? At least, like, get in. I mean, yeah. Can we even get in? Cause they said something about the. Well, I don't want to because I'm 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 gonna upload this. I don't want to say too much on here, but like, right? Yeah, no, we can look at it. Because let me tell y'all, San Francisco, California people, something. Y'all damn pigeons get on my fucking nerves. Okay, <laughs> like. Hey, hey, listen, but no. Quick side note: Chick just walked in here with a whole uh, round of ammunition around her waist like a belt. I mean, like, what what does that mean? I don't know what I'm supposed to do, though. But... I kind of like it though because I like weird stuff. If y'all. So I, I like. Them. If you are watching, <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> if you are watching this and you are from California, get weird. <laughs> get your damn birds. Yeah, y'all weird too, but get your damn birds, please. I implore you. Look at me using big words at you. Yes, I know. I implore you to get your damn birds. But you know what? I think we're gonna take y'all on a shopping excursion with us tomorrow. Not tomorrow, Saturday. Cause tomorrow. Just kidding, Saturday. <laughs> no, cause tomorrow. We're taking y'all to wine country with y'all with us tomorrow, and then on Saturday we're gonna take y'all on a shopping excursion. Child, y'all even got the little ass birds being Debo out here. Like I can't. I feel like we need to talk to some of the locals. I just want to see what they got, cause I imagine that it's gonna be random and just for no reason. <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> really. I don't know. You might not want to do that, cause the thing about the locals is some of them tend to walk up and down the road just screaming and hollering and stuff like that, and I ain't got time. I mean, look, it's it's the state of protest. Okay, <laughs> they protest everything out here. So I just want to know, like, what else? Can but what if they yell at me? I'm sensitive. Uh, throw your phone at them and run. Look. I need my phone. How am I supposed to check in? <laughs> no, see, because don't you got insurance? Dad, and I got an iPad too, but like, I just I want this phone. Oh God. Okay, well, like, throw your it ain't even that funny, sir. Throw your shoe out of my oh, no, no. I forgot to tell you what happened when I was at the nail shop. Uh oh, what happened? Hey. Tell them, tell them. Okay, so listen. So, first of all, get into the shamrock for uh, St. Patrick's We're Day. We're going to go okay. ahead and zoom in on that. We're going to do that because I am, I am nothing if not festive. Okay. Okay, so now what happened at the nail salon? Okay, so, like, this dude came in there. He was knocking on all the doors, all frantic uh, of all the business. He came in here, like, hey, 
who owns a Lexus with a dog inside? And everybody's like, no, no, it's not a, it's not, we don't have that. And so he's like, well, it's getting towed. <laughs> so I was like, wait, so the dog inside? And he's like, yeah, he's barking and everything. If they tow in the car, they don't care. They're not letting the dog out or nothing. They towing the dog and the car are both getting towed. <laughs> so everybody was like, okay, well, whatever. So then I'm all, like, you know, we moved on and like, we talked about all kinds of shit, like colors. Uh, apparently my nail uh, technician is also from Texas and she moved out here. She was telling me like how she made a living. A lot of, a lot of shit, right? Real interesting. So then on my way, walking back to the hotel, I stopped in like the 7-Eleven. That's why I figured out that apparently they got something against Newport 100s in uh, San Francisco. Like that he was like, no, you got to go to Oakland. And I feel like he said it because I was black, but you know what? <laughs> You know, we get to that in a second. Like, why Oakland specifically? There's a city called Asima and a bunch of other stuff around here that ain't technically San Francisco. Why Oakland? But I, like, whatever. You know, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Back when I went to uh, high school and stuff like that, Newport 100s was the cigarette for, okay. of everybody's choice. Yeah, cool Filter Kings. I had to buy that for my auntie all the time. Right? Like, so... Yeah, I guess they went from Pools to Newport. You know, I don't really know the cigarette bag <laughs> history, so I don't know which was first or none of that. But I, I, I think it was different for different areas because in, in my area, it was Newport 100s or shorts in see, a box. See, and I was like, so they so they got like the red pack of Newport. And this is like, what the fuck is this? It's just leaves in paper at that point. Like, the fuck? It don't have none of the appropriate ingredients. But, okay, <laughs> we're just going to move on, right? So I go in there and there's like this, this chick and her boyfriend standing at the counter and she was crying. She's like, and what did they just, who, who tows a car with a dog in it? Now, meanwhile, they got bags of, of uh, that's who the car belonged to. Oh yeah. But, <laughs> but they got shopping bags from like Tiffany and co and stuff. So uh, my thing is, so the nail shop is on like the, the that block right there. Right. But so you got to go over there where Chase Bank is. Yeah. But you came all the way down here and you left the damn dog in the car you why you bring your dog shopping okay but here's need you know let's move on right so she's in there crying like she thought the tow people was supposed to just be like oh no there's a dog in there we can't like leave lead car no they will it, well, at least in texas they will tow whatever is in this car if even if it's a baby they well, they're gonna tow the baby to the uh to the uh lot and then they're gonna call cps from there they're not gonna stop and tell them to come get it. You know, like that. Now, I will say that we'll probably put the baby in the cab with them. I was about to say, because can't you, like, I don't think you can tow you the can. car with somebody in it. Yeah, no, you can. Because that's dangerous. Like, yeah, you can get in trouble for that, ain't it? Right. But that's human beings. Apparently, that ain't pets. They didn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and so the dude that came in the nail shop was telling us, he was all frantic. He's like, hey, no, look, they, they basically, he was shocked, I guess, that they were towing a car with a dog in it. So apparently, the people of San Francisco felt like that was going to be like a, a, a deterrent and the tow people was like you got us fucked up <laughs> come get your dog from the tow lot <laughs> so so the gas station dude was trying to explain to them how to get to the tow lot and she was just crying she was in hysterics you know like all outside the door like whoa why would they do this stuff and the boyfriend was like don't worry baby i got you we're gonna get him back we're gonna get him back so y'all fuck the lexus nobody can <laughs> <laughs> so after you know they after, must be got a whole nother car no like i don't know because where they going with all then they had like a bunch of bags too like shopping bags so now you're gonna have to walk all like 1700 blocks to get to the tow lot or either uber or whatever so with all of the bags and everything but here's my issue a why'd you bring the dog shopping b don't you suppose like did y'all not pay the meter or something what however they were towing the car you knew that there was something wrong with this parking. Either you didn't pay the meter, you parked in like a, a no parking zone or something. Something was wrong with the way you parked. Okay, because they don't just tow, like all the cars on the street, nobody else got towed, just yours. But see, that's one of the bad things about like living in a big major city like that. Parking is a bitch. Yeah. Parking is, I live in ATL and even then it's just like, Parking is a pain in the ass. Like, luckily, my, the place that I live at, like, they have, like, their own parking garage and stuff like that. But if you're trying to do something downtown, my suggestion would be, like, go get dropped the fuck off. Don't take your car down there, okay? Oh, you yeah, listen. If I was still at home and we was going to the rodeo, 
I would Uber there. I'm not parking. I'm not driving. Yeah, like just Uber. And the thing about it is, so like traveling with Topaz has made me get into like the Uber and the Lyft because I used to be very, very scared that I would get kidnapped and somebody was going to try to kill me or some shit like that. But, um, <laughs> look, my coworker, I told my coworker that I was like, I don't like taking Uber and lives. And she was like, why? I was like, what if I get kidnapped and they kill me? And she was like, when is the last time that happened? <laughs> and then, and then like, so they got all of this stuff in there now because apparently. And I'm just like, it, so I'm just like, okay, it hasn't happened recently, but what if it starts with me? No, no. First of all, they got <laughs> OnStar, they got OnStar in the, the app now, Okay. <laughs> Two, you get to share your your car and your location stuff. And then there's a there's a dude on Instagram that recorded a video. He was like, "Use this if you're in loop, uh, Uber or Lyft and you feel unsafe." And he was like, "Hey, baby, what what's the car look like?" All right, I'm gonna be outside waiting on you. And he had like this deep voice to just feel like he's dark skinned and muscular. <laughs> so like apparently you could play that. And then the guy was like, "Okay, I gotta deliver this one intact." All right, but like I will say, it has made me because it, it feels really good when you could just hop in somebody else's car and just hop on out and you ain't got to worry about like they're not gonna ask me for gas money right they ain't, you ain't got to worry about gas money you ain't got to worry about where you gonna park you ain't got to worry about your car getting towed you ain't got to worry about none of that so i am happy that i have and you know what okay so i just want to ask you this okay so back in the days before uber and lyft or whatever whenever you have a friend or somebody pick you up and they be like okay but you got to give me gas money that shit is usually always on the extremes. Either it's three dollars for this long ass trip, or either they take you somewhere the next block over and be like, "That'll be thirty dollars." My car don't just run on gas. Like they, it was never a. It, it didn't. I like even, that Uber and the hand didn't the even standard. move. We went around the corner. Like your hand didn't even move. Right. I, see, and that's what Uber lives. They put a standard about like how much it actually takes. Right. Like, it's a real algorithm. It's it's a formula. I feel like that makes sense. But uh oh, oh child, what is this miss? Okay, I think I think I did something. I don't know. Y'all, my skin looks so damn good. And my edges. My skin and my edges look so damn good. Yeah, they do. I will say that. You know, you don't give your edges look pretty. You always be complaining about them. And I feel like they over there behaving themselves right now. For now, because it's not hot outside. Like, look, when I tell y'all when I was in Hawaii, I laid my edges and I went outside and it was all hot and humid and my hair was just like what edge control? <laughs> <laughs> My hair was like, girl, what is control? And after the second day, my hair was like, girl, you might as well go ahead and give it up because we ain't, we ain't got time. Like, you over here playing like you was trying to confine us and restrict us and stuff like that. Like, let it go. But, yeah, we're going to take y'all to... We're, we're going to go on a, um, what is it, a night tour of San Francisco. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this off so I have a little bit more recording space. While this video wasn't even supposed to be that long. But you know what? Y'all got a damn video now, okay? Because this video is like 17 minutes. So, all I got to do is get it off there, edit it on my computer, and... So, tomorrow... Country tomorrow. So, we'll, we'll record that. And and then when we go shopping, like we we also, we have a lot of ground to cover out here, being that we're in the fashion district. So and then that's just us being in the fashion district. Like we haven't even decided whether we're going to go somewhere else because I think there's like a TJ Maxx and a Ross out here somewhere. We should have went to TJ Maxx or Ross to get our our um our okay. face mask. Oh no, because today tonight. Oh, and another thing, y'all be out here. Y'all. Yeah, we're gonna do a girls' night in tonight, and y'all be out here driving like y'all on the Fast and the Fucking Furious. Either y'all need to get that hey, together listen, too. You know, I just want to get some rice aroni. I just want to know, like, I mean, first of all, it is a San Francisco treat, okay? And I just want to know if it tastes different out here. I, I have to know. It was one of the favorite things I like to eat growing up. I just, I just need to, know. and I have not seen it nowhere. I saw it. I feel like they lied to me. I feel real played. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a post this, and I guess. Trolley on the trolley because like we have like a little trolley line like going like right literally right in front of our hotel this is actually a good spot that we pick this is actually a very good spot because like we right in the middle of everything yeah, like i guess y'all can just like leave a comment and let us know where else where else y'all would like for us to travel don't be giving us nothing too expensive unless you about to pay for it too don't be giving us nothing weird unless you and yeah don't, don't be giving us you. don't give us nothing weird don't give us nothing that's overly expensive don't be sitting there giving and us something cheap either because listen i gotta yeah nothing like, too we, cheap we, we yeah we some them. we some yeah we some All bougie right. chicks so let us know where we could possibly get killed okay like ain't nobody going to no fucking amazon rainforest or some shit like and that like i'm not going to singapore what's in singapore oh yeah you get caned in singapore i didn't even know that until you told me and we're not going to the Outback. So when we go to Australia, we're going to Sydney. We're not going uh, to the Outback. All right? I don't yeah, I was. Okay, so I ain't even going to lie. 
I was on the fence about Australia because I was like, girl, they got the world's deadliest every damn thing over there. No, no, no. That's in like New Zealand. That's in the part with the, the forest and shit. But if you go to the city, like Sydney, that's not opera house. Yeah, like I don't like I actually like I think kangaroos are adorable, but I don't want to wake up and see one out at like at my window or some shit like I that. I mean, ain't shit adorable about a kangaroo. Kangaroos Most will fuck you up. Yeah, they muscular. Uh-oh. Kangaroos will beat your ass, okay? Like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> like, I ain't got time for all I'm of straight. that. And how you supposed to fight somebody that hop over you? Like, and they use good. their tail for leverage and shit like that, too. I'm like, girl, I, who about to fight a kangaroo? Because not me. I don't even know if you can shoot one. Like, because will it matter? Like, I feel like... I don't they, know. Like, they look like they... Like they, made, like, they look like they made a Teflon, too. Yeah, and then they got them big-ass claws and shit. <laughs> I feel like don't. I'm just like where the little small ones at because the little small ones I can deal with them like them them real real big ones that no that's a hard no 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 see I don't want to deal with the small ones because they grow up to be big ones and it ain't like they gonna remember oh this one was nice to me hold on they don't kick her. They, they, it's not they some of them that stay that size no oh well I'll pet them while they little <laughs> and then no, I'll go on by my no, business because see it would be different if they could remember you I'd be like hey remember and they be like, oh, yeah, I don't hit her. <laughs> they not going to give a fuck. So funny. But I've heard, I've heard people from Australia talking. They said, like, the uh, the uh, the kangaroos are, like, the equivalent of deer. And I'm just like, hold on. Because deers are usually friendly for the most part if you don't provoke them. Okay, so I was like, like shit that provoke kangaroos? I was like, I don't think. Well, I mean, I've heard deers can be mean, too. But I think that's, like, if they feel threatened or something like that. Which is understandable. Listen. But we don't know what y'all can. Y'all kangaroos just be, like... Uh, no, see, here, here's here's a rule, here's a bylaw, right? I don't go fucking with nature because, see, listen, I completely understand it. If a kangaroo hopped its ass into my living room, we gonna I hold these napkins because okay. we might we might need them for later. We should probably go to buy TJ Maxx and Ross later on too because they got stuff for like your face. Yeah, I mean, if we if we got time after my nap. Okay, that's fine. Because you know we gotta be at the thing at six. Oh yeah, I still gotta book those tickets too. So we. Oh damn. You ain't booked. I thought you already booked me. No, because you said we was going to do that when we were sitting in Union Square. But yeah, we about to, we about to go ahead and end this Wait, video. But what? where we at, Khadija? But I was eating. No, no. Okay, so I'm going to end this video because I got to go ahead and I got to go ahead and get the tickets for like our midnight excursion. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and edit this video. Like y'all, y'all, what, what the hell y'all be saying? Like, comment, subscribe. Um... Don't be leaving no bullshit in my comment section, okay? Because I got one, one of my homeboys. Every time I comment something, he always leaves some little smart-ass comment down there. And it's just like, sir, don't nobody got time for that. <laughs> I posted a video, like, when I did, I did one with my dad. And he was like, save Khadijah's dad. And I was like, first of all, his ass be starting with me. That don't even be me. <laughs> Listen, I like Mr. Muhammad. He just, like... <laughs> he don't pay you no mind. None like whatsoever. Did you see his face? Did you see his face when I was like, I'm going to get me a 60 year old millionaire with a heart condition? He was like, <laughs> and he was like, like, I don't even. And I'm just like, look, you sitting over there rolling your eyes and giving me that sarcastic look. But when I show up with somebody from your generation, don't say nothing. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and end this video. This has been Playful Banter with Nun Mode. You know, we've had our little girly exchange and stuff like that. And we ain't said nothing too crazy because, like, the real crazy conversations, y'all don't get to hear that. So we're going to go ahead and end this. And y'all like, comment, subscribe. Tell your aunties. Tell your I'm just kidding. Don't tell no damn body about this. You know, don't tell nobody. Okay. So y'all have a nice day. Bye.